I love insomnia. A lot. Oh! <laughs> She's jealous. I'm on my way to the European Championships for the youth in Hungary. Hi everyone, welcome to a new Begijnhoeven video. My name is Rob. Um, this week I'm all alone uh, because Tommy is teaching a student in Hungary. Uh, so I'm all alone riding the horses. So this week there's something very exciting for me as well. Um, I'm going to Bastian de Recht and he uh, is an expert on teaching Piaf on the hand. And he can help us uh, with, with the horses that we bring. Um, I was actually planning to bring Fabiola, good old Fabiola with me, but uh, she was a little bit tired uh, last few weeks. So I'm doing lots of uh, walking, piaf, and uh, for her it's a very good training. For her it's difficult to go uh, to a small walk and now I'm training to go small walk and piaf. Uh, so it's a very good training for her and uh, so she can recover and um, also still keep in shape. Now I'm going to bring Fetini with me. Fetini um, is also um, learning the Piaf Passage, but she has some difficulties in the Piaf and in the Passage she's a little bit uneven. So I hope uh, Bastian can help me with that problem and uh, I'm really curious what his uh, perspective is because uh, we uh, together with Anki uh, have certain techniques to, to improve it and it works really well I must say. But of course it's very interesting to hear another expert. What I'm trying to do with uh, Fabiola while she is uh, recovering or resting or whatever you might uh, call it. Um, because she has the big walk, I'm trying to make the walk very small. So she has to um, use her back more and she's getting stronger. Um, and so that's why I'm doing a small walk, piaf, small walk, piaf. And I'm all, almost doing a walk that's that small that she's doing piaf by herself. And of course, that's a very good training. And uh, as you can see, she's starting to do it really well. Um, so I'm really, yeah, I'm really happy with this technique because uh, you don't over ask from her and she's not losing muscle while she's resting. So it's a very good combination and uh, I think she's improving really well. Good morning. I'm on my way to the European Championships for the Youth in Hungary. But first of all, I need to go to a friend of my, her students. Uh, I need to kind of judge them for a few hours and give them some advices how to do better in the test and also. So I've got a long day. I have my plane to catch at five. It is now a quarter past eight. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy day. Doei! Doei! Oh god, there is this huge traffic all the time. I made it on time.
please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign and the aircraft has come to its final parking position. So I have arrived in Budapest in my hotel. It's uh, 20 to 9 and I have a really really nice room. What a nice view here, it's like really cool. I think I will survive here for a few days. <laughs> so yeah, my clients arrived uh, tonight. They just uh, sent me a text that they are at the border from Hungary. Yeah, they had to come by car, so they are on the way. I think I will go to the restaurant and see if I can have a little bite and then uh, yeah hopefully they are here soon and then tomorrow we go to the stable for the first day and I've heard that the horse already traveled really well so uh, yeah I'm, I'm excited for this week I'm looking forward to it you asked me which horse I love the most it's a difficult question because I love them all uh, very much but I will take one. It's Karma. And it's also a very cuddly horse, if she wants. I got no idea. It's, it's difficult, I think, because they, they helped me through a very bad period in my life. And they are so majestuous, how do you say it? Yeah. And yeah. I can't say just one thing why I love them. They comfort me in my difficult times a lot. There were uh, days that I was just sitting in the stable with the horse and they make me calm again. So, yep, they saved me. Yep, for sure. Because I was that depressed at, at that time. And they give me the motivation to keep going on. I started now almost six years ago, I think. And now I won't do anything else anymore with than with working with horses. If I could take one, um, it will be very difficult because I love insomnia a lot. Oh, <laughs> she's jealous. I love her a lot. No, she's a good Yeah, yeah. If I can choose one, I take, I take her. Yeah. You happy with that? You happy with that? <laughs> so my my ultimate goal is to make a difference for the horses. I even get goosebumps when I think about it. And a happy horse, a happy rider, a happy boss. Before I started working with horses, now five, six years ago, I never touched a horse. I never saw one, yeah, just far away in the field. But from the first day I met them, it was... I saw the lights. <laughs> so guys, yeah, I'm uh, in the middle of Budapest right now. Um, I'm here to train uh, my student. I know her already for... Eight years. Hello, this is Anastasia. Hi. Hi. And she's 19 years old. Yes, it's already my fifth year open championship. Yeah, but this is the first time to be young riders. Yes. Cool. So, um, yeah, did you have already heard anything about your horse? How he traveled? It was yeah, good? Yeah, he's fine. Now, she, uh, now he's going to the stable because the stable is opening only at 2 o'clock. Okay. So, Oh, we just had a really good massage at the hotel. Yes. Yeah, they are like really, really nice people. They're just like my family. They always treat me very well. Huh? You're always yes. like my little sister. Yes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're waiting now for your parents and until it's almost two o'clock so we can go to the stable and see the horse and sit mm -hmm. on him a bit. Yes, have training. 
Yeah, and Monday is the Fed check, and Tuesday is the first day of the competition. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's our hotel. So we are on our way now to the stables. <laughs> the horse has arrived safely and uh, now we're going to check out on him and we're going to check the competition area if it's nice. It started raining actually really hard just yes. an hour ago. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we will see. Um, we're going to have a little training today because yeah, the horse traveled uh, for like two hours or two days in the truck. Yes. But he was all fine. Yeah, yeah, he's nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check him out. So we uh, entered uh, the stables, we made it, so now uh, we're going uh, to take the horse up for our little ride. And Anastasia is almost ready. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you do, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm on my way now to direct dressage. Um, I'm really curious what we're going to do. You're gonna see all about it in the next week vlog, so next Thursday. So don't forget to see next week's video. See you, bye bye.